Yes, it's Valentine would say good things coming too. So uh, today we have two strength of a woman segment. And uh, yes, my second one is amazing. Before I introduce her, uh, White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook is the way to reach us. Don't forget the hashtag Why in the Morning. Don't forget the hashtag Queen's Wednesday. And don't forget the hashtag Strength of a Woman. So uh, she's a former AR and now a sales and marketing manager. And she goes by the name Waruguru. I like yes. your second name. Thank you. Uh, you should Thank stick you. to that one. Crazy. <laughs> Thank you. Your camera is number four. Okay. Uh, if I missed anything, I like to give people the opportunity to introduce themselves. Okay. Uh, like Professor Magua. Yes. 300 pages. Yes. <laughs> All right, your camera is number four. Um, well, my name is Patricia Waruguru. Mm -hmm. I'm currently the executive sales and marketing manager at DC mm -hmm. Magazine. Mm -hmm. So, Plus, uh, Plus Fab Magazine, which is mm -hmm. an online uh, based magazine. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a, a graduate of Desta University at mm -hmm. Bcom in Marketing. Bcom in Marketing. Yes. Uh, main campus or? I mission? did both. You did both? Yeah. So you were in the wilderness, yeah? I was in the wilderness, then uh -huh. I came to the city to finish. Then you came. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But the wilderness, the wilderness is a good uh, place to learn and, and study, yeah? It is, but uh -huh. you really have to, you have to know what you're there for because you can easily be swerved around. If by you're lions. Not, not by lions, oh. by like... <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyway. yeah. All right, so uh, you used to be an AR. Yes. Uh, a terrace music. Yes. Terrace music, I think, uh, for some time was the biggest record label in the country. Yeah? Uh -huh. All right, so maybe first, mm -hmm. uh, not by you, for the people, what is an AR? An a and r manager uh -huh. is an artist manager. Mm -hmm. So basically, an artist manager gives the artist uh, opportunity mm -hmm. for creative, for, for, th for their creative, for their musical creativity. Mm -hmm. So as an artist manager, I do everything else apart mm -hmm. from sing. Apart from sing. Exactly. Uh -huh. So I go from looking from the producer from stage one, looking uh -huh. for the producer, uh -huh. to the director, uh -huh. to when we release the song, the release plan. Uh -huh. um, after the release plan, the marketing strategy, distribution channels, uh -huh. whether it's online, whether it's uh, the radio stations. Uh -huh. So every, we do everything. So there's the production sing. stage. Yes. There's the packaging stage, marketing. Yes. And then there's the distributing. Yes. Three stages. Yes. When you're doing business. Yes. That you need to understand as an artist. Yes. Production, very Production important. Packaging very and marketing important. that product yes. and then distributing it. Yes. All right. So uh, you look for the producer. Yes. Uh, very, a very important aspect in this thing. Uh, marketing and packaging, uh, that is your core business, right? Yes, yes. And then distributing. Yes. Distribution has always been a problem in this country. In this country, yes. Yes. Uh, how are you guys addressing the issue of distribution? And how, how are you guys doing things different? And what did you learn in the process of helping with distribution? Okay, so my time in Taurus, I, uh, in the distribution, uh, sorry, distribution aspect, mm -hmm. We, we did a lot of online distribution, mm -hmm. which is has become a very, very big uh, streaming, platform. Streaming is yes, the future, yeah. Yes, streaming is definitely the future, and mm -hmm. it's a very big platform mm -hmm. for artists, especially if your music is not is not mainstream, mm -hmm. it's not going to play on your mainstream radio mm -hmm. stations, on your hit radio stations. Mm -hmm. There are still people who want to listen to your music, so mm -hmm. it's streaming, uh, through streaming. Mm -hmm. Also, distribution is also going to radio stations, speaking to the producer of this show, mm -hmm. giving them... Because it's an important <laughs> marketing aspect. Yes, uh, yes. All the music. Yeah, yeah, giving them like your unique selling point, what uh -huh. we used to call in marketing your USP, your uh -huh. unique selling point of this song. This song is good for your station. You see your audience are this kind of people, you uh -huh. know, they are between the eight. So it takes a lot of research to, ma to manage an artist. Yes, it does. It uh -huh. does. You need to understand your artists, you uh -huh. need to understand their audience, and you uh -huh. need to understand where exactly are you going to take their music and uh -huh. the impact that it's going to bring. All right, so you have an issue with these guys who just uh, start doing music or making music, then my brother who we are eating the sugar cane with yeah. right there <laughs> I'm like you're going to be my manager yeah. and you you're going to be my PR person and then we move there's an issue in there's that. There's an issue in that because what people need to understand is music is a business. Just mm -hmm. as much as you have a shop like the lady who was here before mm -hmm. or you have a whatever if you work in an office mm -hmm. Music is a business like any other. It needs the, a pro. It needs proness, uh -huh. and uh, and your product is the music. So you need to understand your product in out. Uh -huh. So if I'm selling, for example, I'm selling milk. Uh -huh. I need to understand this milk is UHT. Uh -huh. It comes in a tetra pack. It's uh -huh. like this, like this. Same thing as music. Uh -huh. Music, you don't just bahatisha for lack of better uh -huh. words. You can't just bahatisha it. You have uh -huh. to be sure about it, uh -huh. and you have to be passionate about it, so you can sell what you believe in. All right. Yeah. Uh, music is uh, evolving. 
so much. I'm sorry for staying it's on okay. the music topic. Okay. So music yes. is evolving so much. Yeah. And we see, uh, and like in the old days where you see an artist being signed, mm -hmm. uh, he comes to the label, he's given a producer. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, you see movements growing from scratch. You yes. have a producer who believes in an artist. They yes. start making music together. And they have a friend of theirs who's good with the graphics. Mm -hmm. And it's a movement. Anyway. So nowadays, when you're signing an artist, you're really like signing a, a whole group of people yeah. or a whole label. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about this uh, evolution? Okay, uh -huh. there, there, are two sp there are two types of artists. Uh -huh. uh, you've said the one who is signed, that's mm -hmm. a signed artist. Then mm -hmm. there's an independent artist who you've explained as that person who will go by themselves mm -hmm. to the producer and go look for the graphic designer. Mm -hmm. So as a signed artist, you are given the freedom as uh, to just concentrate on your music, let us do the rest of the work, mm -hmm. you know? Sometimes an artist needs that space to just create. Just create, uh -huh. to create. And being a creative, sometimes you just your, your mind needs to be free. Uh -huh. You can't be thinking about, oh, I need to follow up with this guy with the director with you know uh -huh. so uh, being a signed artist comes with uh, those kind of benefits mm -hmm. but another thing that independent artists might have an advantage over signed artists is that s being signed in a label sometimes uh, your creative uh, freedom uh -huh. is you it's know, lost it's yeah. lost a uh -huh. bit because you might have to live someone else's dream. Uh -huh. I might not be a mainstream. Like I don't want to sing songs that you know. This uh, popular right popular, now. Exactly. Pop culture right yeah, now. Yeah, the uh -huh. pop culture. Maybe I'm an indie artist, uh -huh. and that's. But you know, the thing is, the record label is a business. It needs money. It needs money, and it has invested money. In exactly. You, so you need to return. Exactly. So sometimes exactly. you're forced to do music that you don't really like. Yeah. You're forced to pose for pictures that, that you don't you're really, not really about, into. You know? All right. So yeah. uh, being signed as is a double-edged sword. It is. So it, uh, it depends on what you're going to get from it. Yes. Wonderful. So uh, being an artist manager, mm -hmm. I, I bet, I bet is one of the toughest jobs uh, after human resource management because dealing with human beings is a tough thing. Yeah. 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 You've had to deal with so many egos. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Even artists. Exactly. Even artists. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So uh, how do how do you manage this for anybody who's managing artists out there? How yeah. did you finesse it? Uh, basically, it's just about loving what you do mm -hmm. and knowing that there's a goal. Both of you have a goal. If we are f coming from Nairobi and we're going to Mombasa, we're going to use this route. We're mm -hmm. not going to go like this. As in, we are using one route, and that is our end goal. So, and also, this artist, you need to understand that some of them are, you need to understand they have a different mindset. Mm -hmm. You know, they're in the clouds. Mm -hmm. You know, they're stars or whatever. So yes, <laughs> uh, they get likes on the ground. Yeah, exactly. They and get comments on the ground. People are thirsty for them. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, and then sometimes maybe even at as, as an artist manager, you'll be like, I now I'm stuck on a maringo. Uh -huh. No, you just have to understand. Uh -huh. Sometimes when they're in their own headspace uh -huh. and as focus long on as the art. yeah, fo focus. focus on the art and uh -huh. let's get to where we're going. Let's get to where we're going. It doesn't matter how. Well, let's just because nobody's there. perfect at the end of the day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So. Um, Moving from artist management mm -hmm. to sales and marketing yeah. for, um, uh, for for an online magazine, for yes. a web magazine, yes. uh, which uh, is, deals with in culinary. Yeah. Yes. All right. So uh, this is a big trans transition, if you ask me. Uh, really, it's not. What is your JD first at the... At the, the uh, sales and marketing. Mm -hmm. So we do... Uh, for there are two magazines. So mm -hmm. there's Dishi Magazine. Mm -hmm. Dishi Magazine is a food lifestyle. Dishi with a Y. Dishi with a Y. Dishi. That's a good play. That's a good play. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good play on the name. Yeah. Uh -huh. So Dishi is a food lifestyle magazine. Uh -huh. We specialize... As of now, we are, specially, uh, we are specializing on Kenyan food, uh -huh. uh, restaurants, cuisines, mm -hmm. traditional dishes, mm -hmm. anything to do with Kenyan food. Mm -hmm. um, events where the people are eating, mm -hmm. like anything that has to do with food, that's mm -hmm. what we specialize on. Are you so part of the making of the magazine or you just brought the products? This is the product marketing, market and selling. I am part selling. of the making. Uh -huh, you're part of the making. Yes. What do you do? Do you write as well or do you... No, what I don't write. What I do is I sell the product, which is Dishi Magazine. Uh -huh. I sell the product to different clients. For example, restaurants. Uh -huh. I'll go to the restaurants and I'll tell them, so Dishi Magazine, this is what we do. Uh -huh. These are the advantages of, you know, you being on our magazine. Uh -huh. so advertising. advertising. Get a page. Exactly. Uh -huh. We have a we reach this number of people, uh -huh. and you know, just basically just selling the product to to anyone that we see will benefit from Dishi Magazine. All right. Yeah. The problem that uh, not necessarily me that most Kenyans have with these magazines, mm -hmm. Kenyan food magazines. Mm -hmm. 
the only pictures of food that we see there mm -hmm. are things that not a normal Kenyan can, can relate. Can afford can relate to. Yes. Yes. Uh, the pictures are so clean, high-end <laughs> restaurants, uh, cocktails go for as high as, <laughs> as 3,000 shillings. Yeah. The things that not a typical Kenyan can relate yeah, to. Yeah, that's true. So is it a niche thing or people just like magazines to look fancy? Well, you know, image, you know, I mean, like appearance, what you see first. So mm -hmm. probably people look at it as, hey, it looks nice, you know, there's fish, there's salmons, whatever. Mm -hmm. But even I could take my rice and maharagwe with mm -hmm. the same high res mm -hmm. pho photograph, mm -hmm. edit it well, and just give, like, because we are normal Kenyans. We yeah. eat ri ri rice and beans, chapati that, and dengue. Yeah. You know? Rice and, and beans <laughs> is one of my favorite. Chapati same. and dengue is another one. Ugali, Nyama na ugali you know. is another one. Skuma na avocado. Yes, uh, <laughs> okay. I can go on and on. <laughs> <can go> on. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, so basically, we are just dressed These are not things I'm saying them because they are not things I no. see in a magazine. No, check on our magazine, uh -huh. it's different. Nice it's that you say that. Different. Tell them how they can find the magazine. So just go to www.dishi.com. Mm -hmm. So www.dishi.com, when you open the website, we mm -hmm. have a, a segment for the magazine itself mm -hmm. and for the blog. Mm -hmm. So in the blog, we have opportunity to interact with other, maybe other food bloggers, for mm -hmm. example, like Miss Mandy mm -hmm. or Tom to top chefs, uh, top chef restaurants, talk mm -hmm. to even the chefs in Mama Uliech, uh -huh. you know, just tr try to interact with other pe uh, other people in the in the current culinary industry. All right. Yeah. So uh, food is a big, big business. It is very In big. the world and in Kenya right now. Yes. Extremely. Right. I like that so much. Yeah. So, uh, so at Dishi Magazine, yeah. uh, what can we find? in the magazine we can find uh, restaurants that we can go to yes so you yeah uh, uh, yes so you <laughs> find uh, the restaurants definitely mm -hmm. uh, you'll also find what we call a lookbook mm -hmm. we are trying we tried not to go with the recipes because so many magazines offer recipes mm -hmm. so we did a lookbook so mm -hmm. a lookbook is whereby if I take let's say a bite of a pizza from uh -huh. pizza in uh -huh. I'm like mm, I can taste the barbecue sauce I can taste so if you can you just you you kind of outline give an imaginary picture of what you're tasting on your taste buds uh -huh. so that someone will be like eh, I really like the taste of ham mm -hmm. so they will be like I want that pizza with ham uh -huh. so we're not trying to, to to spoil the business of the people in the restaurant by giving out their recipes uh -huh. but we're trying to bring people to the restaurant uh -huh. to get that experience of their taste bud just exploding in flavor uh -huh. <laughs> all right so this is how you sell to restaurant yes. owners yeah because I'm already in, <laughs> <You're> already <laughs> in, <laughs> already in it all right uh, just remind them your social media handles so they can check you uh, while we check it on screen as well uh, well, on my social media handle, on Instagram, it's at Miss underscore Warugoro, and mm -hmm. Facebook, it's Patricia Warugoro. Patricia Warugoro, I like yes. your sick name. Thank yeah, you. You should, you should use it more often. Maybe yeah. we can uh, project our Instagram on screen uh, while we wait for your Instagram. Uh -huh. So, uh, how old is your, is your, is, is the workforce at DC Magazine? Oh, Average age? Well, we are actually, we, as of now, we are four. It's just uh -huh. a startup. Actually, uh -huh. we are moving to the office next week. Monday. Average age, maybe. You average age uh -huh. is 27. Me being the youngest, uh -huh. it would be 27 if you're average. If you're average. Yeah. All right, I won't ask uh, for your age, but the average age is 27. Yes. All right, so uh, working with young people, uh, mm. what is what are some of the advantages you get from working with young people on a startup like this one? I feel like the energy. Uh -huh. the, en the energy like is number one. The energy is number one, and people are so determined. People uh -huh. are so hardworking. Like, uh -huh. there are young people out here who are really willing to do their thing uh -huh. without having to work for someone else uh -huh. who will micromanage them. And uh -huh. maybe they have ideas and uh -huh. they can't share their ideas. Uh -huh. So they're just really trying to put out all the resources and put it out there, uh -huh. you know, for, for the young people. In general. All right. Yeah. What I'm seeing uh, as a common trend nowadays, because uh, mm -hmm. I check. I do a lot of research in this in this field of, of media mm -hmm. and entertainment. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, like a magazine, say, would mm -hmm. uh, would get or or a, or a clothing line mm -hmm. would get a, a talented freelancer, mm -hmm. put them, give them some residency. Mm -hmm. They can do their own thing, but there's something they bring to the magazine. Yes. All right. Why are so many businesses moving towards this trend? Um. They don't want to pay pensions. That's you know. That's <laughs> what I was going to. Get. They don't want to like pay permanent employers, uh -huh. Uh -huh. which is 
it's an ish ish thing it ca it's very debatable mm -hmm. but also because but the youth also don't want to be tied exactly, down as well. exactly mm -hmm. they want to be able to spread their wings uh -huh. but you know sometimes and we were having this discussion actually in our meeting yesterday mm -hmm. sometimes if you just hire like someone as a freelancer uh -huh. they're not concerned their aim is not dishi magazine they mm -hmm. have dishi magazine they have something else they maybe they're selling houses maybe uh -huh. you know and we want to like concentrate we want to put all our energy in one mm -hmm. thing so when we put maximum input we get maximum output mm -hmm. yeah all right so you guys are not really going to take this approach no 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 all right no but uh, there's some aspects but that you can do this with or you disagree maybe i i, I really disagree uh -huh. i just i believe in like, people need to retainer. be fully in yes i need to have your whole heart in this uh -huh. so i'd rather give you a retainer give you allowances if it's credit if it's transport allowance mm -hmm. so that your aim is dishy Somebody uh, told me uh, uh -huh. collaboration is the future of this industry, the arts, the media, and the entertainment. Yes, uh -huh. yes. That is very true. Because, mm -hmm. for example, fine, I, I, I was an artist manager, mm -hmm. and now working at Dishi. Mm -hmm. But from our website, I've been able to approach artists and mm -hmm. tell them, you can, post, you can post your music on our website, and you, you'll get a reach of this much with mm -hmm. this number of directs to your YouTube link. Uh -huh. So you see, with that, we have collaborated. Uh -huh. Also, like, um, working with... Does uh, money change hands? Ah, yes, definitely, because uh -huh. we sell space. We uh -huh. sell space on the magazine, so definitely money has to change hands mm -hmm. for your benefit and for my benefit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, yeah, basically, that's her, that's one of the collaborations. All right, Miss Waruguru, in a little <laughs> black dress there, uh, we can <laughs> scroll. <laughs> I'm not updated. Okay. <laughs> You're not okay. updated. Yeah, but, but maybe we can check out your... Yeah, sure. So, AR manager at Taras Music, on your bio, music, dance. So, do you sing as well? Yeah, I can. Uh, you can. I can. Mm. I, I, you know, All even right. have the chance I would. It's a possibility. Yes. All right. So, uh, her, I see you promote an uh, artist. Uh, this was your time back in in Taurus. In yeah, Taurus, yeah. From from January. Mm -hmm. yes. So uh, maybe you can mention, uh, but a few artists you've worked with at Taurus. Maybe show uh, off Kidogo. <laughs> I've worked with Calvin Mungai. Uh -huh. I've worked with amazing Della. artist Della. Amazing I've artist. Della. I've worked with Gina Deal. I've worked with Lady JD. I've worked with Alicia's. Uh -huh. I've worked with Calligraph, I've worked I with can see them all Trina Mungai, I've worked with the council, I've uh -huh. worked with so many people. You've worked with so many people. Yeah. Right. Do you think the future is bright in the music industry? I do. As long Why as... Why did you leave then? Why did I leave? Uh -huh. better, bigger, bigger and better opportunities. Bigger and better opportunities. And I don't want to constrain myself to one thing. I want uh -huh. to see what I can do. Let me test myself. Let me see what I can do. Uh -huh. So music, I have established I can do music. Uh -huh. That one is fine. I can do it. Uh -huh. So let's see. Can I do this dishy thing? Uh -huh. And yes. And I've seen you trying to plug in music as well on this dish. Yes, thing. yes, I right, am. Is I this am. you right there? Yes. <laughs> that is you. <laughs> so I'm back, but yeah. Uh, with the natural hair. Yes. I like that picture. Thank All right, you. So uh her. Huh, back to the matter now. Mm. So uh you uh you're part of the board. Adishi? Yes. Right. Yes. So uh, am I right to say you're a co-founder? No, no, no. I'm uh -huh. not a co-founder. I'm mm -hmm. in the management you're team. You're in the management yes, team. Yes. But it's something you've always been passionate about. Yes. All right. So mm. uh, <coughs> well, if we visit Dishi, you, you promised we'll see some foods that we can relate to. Yes. You will see foods you can relate to. Restaurants that, you know, you can afford within you your afford. budget, whether it's 50 shillings to 20,000 shillings. Uh -huh. Yes. That's a fact. Yes, that's All right, a fact. Please remind them <laughs> again <laughs> how they can get a hold of the magazine as okay, we wrap so up. You can go online, www.dishi.com. Uh, mm -hmm. Under that, you choose either you want the magazine or the blog. Uh -huh. So both uh, both options, you will be able to be satisfied through both options. You will, will, will be able to be satisfied through both options. Yeah. All right, so for those people who think your job is easy, sales and marketing, ah, uh, it's easy. Just give them a taste of what, yeah, what you need to do in a day. What you need to do in a day, mm -hmm. first of all, is understand mm -hmm. your product. Understand and that's your product. one thing that I'll always push to marketers. Mm -hmm. Understand your product. Have mm -hmm. passion. Know it inside out. Mm -hmm. Because as a, as a marketer, if I'm approaching a client mm -hmm. and me, me, myself, I'm not confident in my product, mm -hmm. That that vibe is definitely gonna go to the client, and they mm -hmm. won't be confident in the in the in the product as well. Mm -hmm. Also, the first impression that you give, the first impression that you give your clients, how you approach your clients, even small basic things that we learn about a smile, a handshake, just small things mm -hmm. that will make the client be want Charm to and charisma. You know, mm -hmm. they want to engage with you more mm -hmm. and want to understand, you know, what you what what you've brought to the table. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but first of all, passion. Be passionate about the product. Doesn't matter what it is. It might be a table, it mm -hmm. might be milk, it might be a phone. Be, be passionate, passionate yes. as a sales and marketing person. Yes. Be passionate about the product and understand your product. Yes. 
wise words from Waruguru right there. You can <laughs> find her at Miss underscore Waruguru on Instagram and more info you can find over there or Dishi Magazine. Yes. Dishimagazine.com. www.dishi.com. www.dishi.com. <laughs> that yes. is how you'll find the, your favorite spots or mm -hmm. the spots you should try or the Kenyan foods you should try. So we've come to the end of the strength of a woman. I'll give you one last chance uh, to say a quick word to my shout out. <laughs> well, um, who do I give a shout out to? Of course, uh -huh. my mom. So uh -huh. I know she's watching. Uh -huh. She's so excited. And uh -huh. my neighbors at home in Dago, uh -huh. so I know they're all watching. Thank uh -huh. you so much for the support. Yeah, so follow me on Instagram. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me. Uh -huh. Let's build each other. Let's grow. Let's build each other. Mm. Yeah, we're we're to Nahilda, Rido, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> all right, nice one. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming through. We appreciate you. Thank so, you. yes, we've come to the end of Strength of a Woman. We did it twice today. Uh, so, you know, it's that nice. Uh, Kalami Val is coming up next with Girls Talk. You don't want to miss this. It's a hot topic. Don't touch that down. Don't go nowhere. We're still partner partnering with Panari uh, to give you a good Easter. So we'll be announcing winners uh, towards the end of the show or tomorrow. But just keep sending your answers. What would you have in your Easter basket? and why this is a basket that you give to somebody you love and uh, just tell us what you'd have in your easter basket and why we have been getting crazy answers like <laughs> like Mahanagu. <laughs> but the most cre the most creative one is going to carry the day and get a ticket a pair of tickets to watch a movie at Panay. we have already given out the skating tickets we've given out the the movie tickets uh, we have the pizza ticket and we have the dinner ticket as well so we have something for you this easter in partnership in partnership with Panay. what would you have uh, uh, in your Easter basket? In my Easter basket, mm. I would have like food, food, like ugali, chicken, a soda, a kuteremusha, like food, food, mm. and then I'm not a sweet tooth, so I won't be like a but tea. Well, uh, <laughs> you are not from Western. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were from Western. We'll be back with tomorrow in the morning. Don't go nowhere. Uh, <laughs> uh.